Hey, the River City Rodeo is coming to town next weekend with loads of Bronco busting excitement. Ellie Santa Martin and Alana Jackson of the HCA uh, here to tell us all about it. So first of all, welcome. Thank you. Glad Thank you're you. here. And what is the HCA, Alana? The Hoosier Cowboy Association, which is a nonprofit, and we have a mission of being able to help those who've served us through veterans and animal assisted therapy. And how long have you been around? The organization is young. It's been the rodeo has been around four years. This is our fourth year, but the organization has only been two. And how did that start? A group of local enthusiasts that are passionate about helping veterans came together, and some of the board members are active rodeo participants. Oh, yeah. fun! What fun! So, Ellie, what's your part in the rodeo? I see you for many other things, <laughs> but rodeo was not one that I expected. <laughs> yes. Uh, well, my brother-in-law has been a board member of the Hoosier Cowboy Association from the beginning, and in transition, he said, "You know, Ellie, you work with different nonprofits. We're we're an emerging organization. We need someone with that experience, and you get to be part of a rodeo, which I have." never been a part of so um, I'm consulting with them and it's a fun project um, I get to come and enjoy and meet new people so that's what I've been doing well you know it's always exciting when the rodeo comes to town because it's it's an unusual experience for us around here we see it in the movies so Alana what's your passion about it besides the, of course the great work you do how did you get involved in the, your interest in rodeo I'm passionate because I've been riding and showing horses since I was five and now I judge horse shows and to me anything to do with animals and outdoor activities like this is just so exciting and a rodeo is something that I would never dare compete in <laughs> but, but I'm excited to bring to because it's a national sanctioned rodeo that brings competitors from Pennsylvania to Texas and all over who compete for the rodeo finals. So what kind, I mean, I know we have mutton busting <laughs> and uh, some bronco busting and things like that. What is mutton busting? Oh. Well, children between ages four and six get to, six get to ride a sheep. And oh, they get to ride the sheep, yes. okay. And then long, the one who stays on the longest gets one of these buckles. <laughs> Tell me about that piece of jewelry, girl. Yes, we custom ordered these buckles to uh, portray our rodeo and give to the winners of people who are our sponsors, as well as the mutton busting, so that they get to wear their own buckle. That mm -hmm. is a nice uh, little piece of jewelry there. <laughs> so everything starts when? The gates open at 5 o'clock. On Next the 17th weekend? Okay. and 18th, mm -hmm. yes. And the rodeo itself, well, the mutton busting's at 6, so don't, you got to be there early. Yeah. And <laughs> Friday night we have a ribbon run where kids get to try to get the ribbon off a tail of a calf. Yeah. Okay, well, this sounds like lots of fun and very aerobic. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so this is fun for the whole family. The whole Absolutely. family, yes. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, you can kind of see the bullfighters and enjoy being there with real cowboys, and then younger kids can participate in their own safe ways, um, but also get to hang out. We'll have a rodeo mall with different vendors if you want to get your own really cool hats or of boots course. or jewelry. Um, and, you know, you can bring friends, you can bring kids. It should be a lot of fun, both Friday and Saturday available. So what kinds of support do you then provide for veterans and people who served our country with the funds you raised, Alana? We are excited to be able to partner with some groups, and one we can't mention yet because they're making a formal announcement at the rodeo. Okay, they're going to roll it out, all right. <laughs> yes, but we are going to provide animal-assisted therapy for those who are in need for PTSD or mental health challenges for veterans and first responders. So service dogs or if they need equine therapy, you know, sometimes those can be expensive both to purchase Very and maintain so. a dog or train it. So the funding from the rodeo and the HCA helps support people who may not be able to afford it on their own. So worthy and so important. Well, it's nice to meet you. I look forward to seeing you again. Always good to see yes, you. Get you. your tickets for the Rodeo Family Fund, 4-H Ground, next weekend. Mutton busted. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back right after this.